Hello guys, today I bring to you another thing I've been working on for a couple of days. It took me longer than I expected, but here it is. I wanted to test scrap zeppelins as well, but unfortunately uh, I couldn't play any of my premium ships on PTS, even though I had it, even though I could before, but I guess Wargaming says no. Apparently I can just show you some records of lucky drops and stuff. But that, that doesn't persuade anyone, to be honest. So in the end I decided to make a bomb dispersion analysis on both of these ships, Possible and Victoria. Um, it's gonna be like like a, a screenshot of like the ship on PTS and live. And then I did about approximately 72 bombs per test. Hopefully it's enough. <laughs> Alright. It's time to show you MVRs first. And let me tell you, I did not expect this at all. Dispersion seems just much, like, maybe even more inaccurate the center when I drop ships. Um, and I don't think I see more bombs in the interior reticle uh, we're getting mentioned. Um, but the bombs are a bit more concentrated since they aren't scattered around the edges of the ellipse. Uh, but still, it doesn't really fit the description as, as we got on the dev blog. So, I'm going to tell you the citadel rate I got on battleships and cruisers, since now you've seen the graph. Back in the day when I played uh, live at VR, but before this patch, there's a high possibility, or maybe half, that you won't even get a citadel on battleships because the bomb dispersion is just that terrible. But, now, MVR can constantly citadel a battleship. Well, I mean, it always could, but now you can constantly get at least one citadel on a battleship. Maybe two, but that's a coin flip. And regarding the third, it's usually a penetration, but uh, seldom miss. Uh, what about cruisers? It, uh, still, it's not recommended to bomb a cruiser, even though it has MVR has the ability to citadel most of the tier 10 cruisers, um, the accuracy is still a bit wonky to bomb them, so don't expect uh, good drops to happen unless unless you're like um, really good with, uh, unless you get along with RNG, I guess. Uh, quick summary, is MVR bombs better? Yeah, because they're more consistent on bombing battleships uh, with, the minim with the minimum 12k per drop. Just get a good angle, start the attack, and hopefully RNG gives you a second citadel. Uh, and still, she doesn't do as well against cruisers, uh, but but it's okay. It's it's a buff. Now for Parsifal. Um, ship's insane. <laughs> Just look at the dispersion. It obviously is more focused, and like. Just, just look at the center of the reticle. See those blue dots crammed in there? It's a buff. It's a buff. <laughs> so Parcival now has, has a much better tool to remove high tier cruisers and low tier battleships thanks to the accuracy buff. That will they pretty much have the same size and it's more accurate. And before you close this video and start spamming Parcival matches, okay, maybe after the patch, but allow me to tell you something. She, Parsifal got a big buff, okay, even though her bombs are more accurate, her weaknesses still remain, and just let me remind you about that she overpens most cruisers of her tier and below, even overpenning Ismail by the way, but um, she also can't penetrate, uh, she also can't citadel uh, a majority, like, the majority of the high tier battleships, um, for example, uh, Amagi and the ships above her, Izuma and Yamato. So, yeah, she still has her weaknesses. In the end, I want to tell you that I'm glad they buffed um, Manfred von, von Richthofen and August von Parsifal. Too much? Not, not too much, but they're better at dealing with large ships. That's about it for this video. I hoped it helped you, and if you got friends who are interested in the recent buff to German carriers, please share this video to them. See you next video.